So today I've got some bit of a frog in my voice, which actually makes me sound a lot more like Shepard Smith. And what is it with him? He's, I used to love listening to Shepard Smith and watching him. He's, he's really good, but he's, he's been boilerplate and just wrong. He was really going hardline after this Russian thing. And I mean, this week, a lot of Democrats, a lot of uh, typical anti-Trump outlets and investigators have come to the conclusion that there wasn't even a hack. It was a leak painted as a hack. And, and this is coming from the sources that have been, well, close to the circles that have been advocating it from the beginning. And Shepard Smith was totally wrong uh, in pursuing that. And I foresaw it at the Times. And so I, Shep, I, I, I love Shep, but I just really think he went boilerplate. And I, I don't know. I, I hope he learns and turns around. We all got mistakes. Um, I, you know, this week, I've really been thinking a lot about the problem of opinions in two two big spheres parenting and politics there seems to be this culture that everyone is always right all opinions will have equal outcomes in parenting and politics no matter what a parent does to their children the children are going to grow up to be fine cuz the parents can never be wrong never never tell a parent they're wrong you know, you know what I, you know, you know, the, 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 the rubber stamp, the parents cult. And I, I'm not a member. I refuse to be a member of that. I believe that parents can make decisions they regret later on. A lot of people, now that seems to be one of the biggest and best kept secrets on Sunday morning. I mean, the pastor will get up, you know, parenting isn't hard, which if you think parenting's not hard, try being a kid with idiots for parents. Now, I'm no, I'm no, no, I'm not, I'm not. I, I, j- calm down. I'm just you. I j- no, not you. I'm talking to the podcast observer. No, I'm not going to say his name. I've said his name too many times. He always manages to make it into every single episode. You're just going to have to go do your research if you want to find out his name. I'm not going to tell you his name. Would you sit down? Thank you. I'm not going to bash parents, dude. I'm just saying that not all ideas are equal. We need to bash ourselves. I mean, the, the last thing, when I'm a parent, I do not want to have someone telling me that I'm right all the time. That's not going to help. I don't need yes men. Parents need people who love them enough to tell them that they're buffoons. Dude, you're an idiot. You keep doing that, your kid's going to disappear when he's 16. You're not going to know where he is for two days at a time. What, what, how, how dare you disagree with the always perfect parents? It's like, it's like Sunday morning Lutheran Protestant Christians don't believe the Pope is infallible, but they believe parents are more infallible than the Catholic Church ever taught the Pope was. Uh, and not just on truth and morals, uh, for, for those of you that are uh, in the Latin rite. But we have this culture, the same thing with politics. We all sit down in a circle at the coffee shop and everyone's opinion is equally valuable and likely to save the world. And no, it's not. Now, I mean, I, I, I'm all for listening to people. I'm all for having a conversation. But, I mean, isn't, isn't there some understanding that, that some people know more about certain things than others? You know, we all have our stuff that we're good at. And that's what you need to focus on in your life. And you can tell your friends. You can calm them down. I mean, that, that's the thing. I'm not, I'm not on any campaign in my life to run around and tell people that they're idiots about politics. I, 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 I'm, I go to people and I say, you know, calm. Well, actually, I haven't been. I think I'm going to go to people. That, that's my concept. That's my idea. That's my gig. We need to calm people down and say, hey, dude, dude, maybe, you know, Politics isn't your super uber area of expertise. So don't let other people freak you out. Focus on cars. Focus on entertainment. Focus on, um, you know, whatever it is that you do. You've got an awesome career in, you know, whatever. But it's not politics. So maybe don't think about it so much. I mean, you, I'll I'll speak to you for myself here. Um, I'm Jesse. And I have, I'm syndicated and I have written political pieces and collected newspaper articles by the week. Sometime I'll, I'll do even a flashback for years if it's relevant. But I've been collecting lists of newspaper articles. It's called a news stack for, for four years. 
And I've, I've been following the news. I predicted that Trump would get elected and how. That doesn't mean I'm better than anybody. It means that I actually kind of know what I'm talking about. And listen to me, I'm not worried. I believe martial law is coming in America. And I don't think it's good. I think it will be abused on some levels, but I do believe we'll get through it. I don't think it's necessary. I'm not an advocate for martial law, but I do. I, I mean, I, I, I'm just talking. I'm talking as the futurist here. I'm not advocating what I want. This is something that I'm not sure people understand. When I say what I see coming, when I say what I think will happen, that's not what I want to happen. It's what I think will happen. A lot of people can't tell the difference between what will happen and what they want to happen. It, it, it's, it's like they're lost in their own wishful thinking. We have so many people who don't have any basis to, to, to prove to themselves that they know what they're talking about with parenting or politics. So if you can back off on your own opinion with things you don't know, maybe you can help other people back off with their opinions on things they don't know and help everybody all just take a deep breath and relax. Now, you remember when the Ebola thing was breaking out and Shepard Smith addressed some, uh, you know, he addressed the nation. Of course, he was on Fox at that time. He said, OK, with me now. <sighs> and he did the deep breath thing. And then he went through and he gave the facts and he was very upset about irresponsible, sensationist, fear monger reporting. And that was right. What he did wasn't good or what, what, what he was saying wasn't. I mean, he said, this isn't good. What's happening? And he did good reporting. It was sober, it was calming, and it was the truth. You can be that to your friends. The big problem with the hysteria in America, what's going to drive the martial law? What's going to drive people to freak out and panic and riot so that we have to declare martial law in some places just to keep people alive? What's going to lead up to that is people having opinions outside of what they have experience with. Listen to the people who know stuff, who've done it. Listen to the people who, 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 who make semi-accurate predictions. Listen to the people who say, I, I know people. I know that that, that family is going to have trouble in a few years. I wish it weren't so, but mark my words. Oh, that kid's going places and then the kid goes places. Listen to those people who can see it coming. Listen to the people who work in that. I mean, if you were to get brain surgery... You wouldn't turn to your high school or college or junior high school classmate and say, how should I do brain surgery on myself? Oh, well, I think, oh, sounds like a good idea to me, and then go do it that way. No. Now, you'd ask an actual brain surgeon. If you wanted to know how to have a safe car, you wouldn't raise your hand and ask your art teacher, how do I build my own safe car at home? No, you, you'd read the reports of the crash tests. But all of a sudden, with politics and parenting, I mean, you know, parents, not grandparents, but parents can be the biggest brats of all. They're like adult teenagers who can finally be the oldest sibling in the family, you know. When it comes to parenting and politics, everyone's got this equal outcome opinion. And I don't think that's right. And I think it causes a lot of protectionism and hysteria. Let's be sober. Let's have critical thinking. And by the way, this week's editorials at the Times I might be my best within two or three or maybe even five years of the whole thing. August 14th. Go check it out, those editorials, Cadence and Encore at Pacific Daily Times. I'm going to get to the point. You can go to anyone and get an opinion about anything. Why do you think your opinion is worth having? What is your basis? Do you go to the deli or gas station to get an opinion about what medical treatment you should take? Some people are proven right about politics over and over, who would get elected, which problem is a problem, what scandals are real. The best way to evaluate an opinion is by results. Follow the money. Follow the results. We must treat results as if they were intended because if they weren't, then they were incompetent. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.